I mean, what we're seeing now is that things are dramatically opening up. We've got huge levels of demand that we haven't seen before. This pent-up demand for two and a half years, basically, has meant people want to see the family, friends, want to take that business trip, want to travel around the globe, want to travel around Australia. So we're in a great position to, uh, to, to, to benefit from that big boom. We're seeing dramatic increases in the price of fuel. Yes. You, as, an, as an airline, your percentage of fuel tends to be higher for, because of your stage lengths being much longer. So we're talking surcharges sooner rather than later, if not already. We don't like surcharges. Some markets you have to put surcharges in. We'd rather do with airfares and revenue management. And on average, we believe to cope with the current fuel levels, we need around a 7% increase in airfares or, or RASC or C-factor. And that's what we'll be aiming for. We think the demand is there, Richard, to get that. We're very optimistic domestically and internationally. In fact, very recently, domestically, um, our competitor uh, raised airfares by around 5%. I mean, your load factor must be tremendous as you, as you, as you ramp up. Well, we're now trying to ramp up and try and keep slightly ahead of where the demand is to get there. So by the middle of the year, we're expecting our domestic operation to be back over 100%. Qantas 113% of pre-COVID levels. Jetstar 120% of pre-COVID levels. So we think there is a restructure of the domestic market that gives us more market share. And then internationally, we're activating aircraft. We're actively getting the aircraft back out of the desert. So we're only 22% of pre-COVID levels internationally this quarter. Next quarter, we go to 44. And by early 2023, we're close to 100%. So it's taken a little bit longer with international to get there. Why is that? Because the demand is absolutely there. So on the markets where the demand is, we're back to, and we're seeing pre-COVID levels. That's Europe. Uh, North America. Uh, but a lot of our network is into Asia. Asia, and that's staggering its opening. So Japan, we're hoping it'll open by April. Uh, Korea, hopefully in April. We, nobody's sure on China. We think China may be later in the year, but some are saying it could be into 23. Uh, we've got places like the Philippines. Uh, so they, they stagger into next year. And even New Zealand. I mean, they've been tighter controls than Australia. New Zealand is saying hopefully before July, and that's a big market. So as you come out of COVID, the priorities, get the fleet back up and running, get yeah. the, the, rebuild the route network. What about product, new routes? Where are you going to grow? Yeah, great question. So domestically, we started 50 new routes during COVID, 50, 5 zero, And all of those routes are just about working really well. We've already launched a few new international routes. We're back into India for the first time in 20 years, back into Rome for the first time in 20 years. And the product this week, we announced a relaunch of First Class. Uh, we've opened up all of our lounges domestically, 35 of them, and we've uh, announced the opening up of all of our lounges internationally. Most of them are opening, but the last ones are there. So our product is going to be even a lot better coming out of COVID than it was going in. Today's Qantas is different to that which went into the pandemic. Tell me how. Um, so there's a huge amount of uh, differences. One, um, the airline is a lot, going to be a lot stronger coming out of it because uh, we will end up around 70% of the domestic market. Before COVID, we had 62%. And it is one of the biggest domestic markets in the world. Melbourne, Sydney, before COVID, was the second largest city pair. Secondly, we've taken a huge amount of costs out to be able to recover from COVID. Uh, so we've taken around a billion dollars every year um, ongoing out of our cost base. Unfortunately, that's meant our workforce has gone from 32,000 people to 22,000. We'll recruit some more to grow again, but it's going to be a smaller organization in employees, a bigger organization eventually in terms of revenue and capacity.